I just love music. I have all my life, and I've always wanted to, to do this. It took me forever, but um, it's out finally. But uh, a lot of work, let me tell you. Hi, I'm Dave Underwood. I'm here today to discuss my new CD. It's my debut. Happy to see it out finally, so here it is. I've been writing songs basically since I was eight years old, and uh, I wanted to compile a CD uh, ever since back then, and I've been writing songs all this time, and I finally, in the last several years, uh, wrote some songs that I thought would, would justify putting on a CD, so I, uh, I finally compiled that and put it together. I guess out of probably 20 songs maybe I chose from, so... When I finally decide to actually use the song, uh, first of all, I've got to like it, and it's it's got to feel good to me. And I think a song that people would enjoy, um, and if it's a drag or you know doesn't do anything for you or or myself, you know, then it's like, eh, that one's gone. Start over. And there's a few songs that I've uh, started on and and redone. You know, I put a new twist to them, slowed them up sped them up or something like that you know put in a different guitar part or what have you just to add this, the simplest thing sometimes really makes a song it's it's amazing but this the theme of this cd is uh feel good i would say i mean uh, i don't i try not to write music that brings people down to me uh music is is the soul of life you know like i think i heard uh Martin Luther King say that once, so I kind of stole that there. But um, I agree with that completely, and uh, it's just, yes, I, I wrote all the songs and produced it and recorded it, so, and uh, um, down here in my own studio, I did all that. It took a long time to record this CD, of course, you know, I got a full-time job and all that, and... Um, Writing the songs, oh, they come actually pretty quick uh, when you write a song. It, it's just done in 15 minutes, but uh, recording it, I do most of it myself. Um, playing and recording all the parts takes a lot of times, a lot of time, and um, usually in the evenings after work or something is uh, when I can do that. So it's I'm on limited schedule, so it it's probably took me three or four years to just to do this CD, so long time the stuff that I listen to most is basically the stuff that I've been listening to my whole life uh, classic rock and roll rock and roll uh, stuff like that that's usually what inspires me um, as far as new artists uh, John Mayer uh, Dave Matthews and stuff they've inspired me a little bit but uh, usually it's the my upbringing, you know, following the Beatles, Sticks, Cheap Trick, stuff like that. And that's usually what inspires me there. Melodic, I like a melodic pop song is what I like the best. And, and I've heard people say that my stuff is, is, is like that. So whether I try to or not, it just happens. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Stuff that I've written years ago and here fairly recently and recent um, has changed. I mean, I guess uh, uh, I think the stuff 
that I've written lately is, is better um, than what I've written years ago. Because any any artist, uh, whenever they start out, you know, it's, they're maturing uh, in their writing abilities, their music musicianship, and uh, stuff like that. It, it just kind of comes along with time. Uh, the music that I've written hasn't swayed all that much. Um, it might have been a little, been a little bit more heavy back then. I don't know. I guess I've metal, mellowed out a little bit. But <laughs> I still like to write a heavier rock and roll song every once in a while. So I love that. Always have. When the rain comes down is one of my favorite songs on there, and it's been played on the radio quite a bit. Um, and uh, I actually wrote it in 89 uh, and I finished writing the middle eight part as the Beatles call it the middle eight the change um, in 05 I believe it was but um, in 89 I was at work and you know it was a Friday and you're excited about the weekend and uh, of course right there is a good mood you know so inspiration ding Uh, Being a part, that's another good song, I, I think. Uh, that's on the on the CD. Um, I wrote it probably about a year ago, and it's being played on the radio also. And people really like that one. It's a little bit more upbeat and a little bit more rocky, which is was my intention on that one. Uh, it's about being a part and from your loved one or just whoever, and, and you know it's not always good. Um, but then, you know, everybody needs your space. So I kind of was meaning all that inside there, whether you get that from the lyrics or not. But that's what I was meaning on that song. Away from the heart, taking apart from you. My Love to You I wrote probably five years ago, right at it. Uh, you Make Me Feel was inspired by actually my daughter, I guess. Um, she was just starting to drive, and there's lyrics in there about driving. And, uh, she's in dance a lot, so uh, she inspired me by that too, you know, with the dance lyrics in there. So. I'm Lost Without You um, is a song, of course, uh, it just came to me, uh, it's probably inspired by a movie or something, you know, just, if you have someone you love and stuff, and, and you know, without them, you know, you miss them, <laughs> it's as simple as that. I'm lost without you. Waiting for You is another one of my favorite songs on there, and I've had like five of these, four, four of these songs played on the radio, uh, and uh, uh, this was one of the the bigger, I guess, local hits or whatever you want to call it. I'll Be Gone was inspired by a bad mood. <laughs> I was in a bad mood and depressed. And that's a double double meaning. Uh, of course, you could take it. Um, it's just a made-up relationship. But, you know, I was just stating that, um, hey, one of these, I, I could be, I'll be gone, you know. Only You, I wrote... Probably a couple years, actually I wrote it about three or four years ago, and the little riff inspired that song.
Ocean So Blue was written a few years ago. Um, I was outside on the patio grilling one evening for us all, for the family, and um, which is a lot of fun. I can't cook, but I do like to grill. Uh, I had the ukulele with me, and, and this is the fun song on the track, the, uh, the most uplifting, I guess. Someone for Everyone is probably the second oldest tr- written track on there, but um, probably one of the later recorded ones. Um, that's one of those I re-recorded. Until we meet again, uh, I wrote, uh, my father passed away on my birthday, and uh, I guess about a year later, I, you know, you, you never get over that, but about a year later, uh, just one day it hit me that I had to write a song uh, for him. All right, here's the CD. It's what it looks like. You can buy it on iTunes, and uh, check out my website. Uh, it's... Uh, davidunderwood.wordpress.com uh, You can check out my videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, just pull up my name, David Underwood. Uh, if you want to send me an email, it's uh, dave.underwood25 at yahoo.com And uh, hey, just check it out. I think you'll like it.